This is Yana Smakula for SimonSaysStamp.com, and welcome back for another Yippee for Yana video. Today we're going to be stamping delicious ice cream, and we'll make a few yummy and colorful cards. I've had my eye on Simon's so cool stamp set for a long time now, and I had this idea to stamp ice cream images using ombre inks. Ombre makes anything better, so that's what we are going to be doing today. Here is a quick look at this stamp set. You have four different ice cream images that are solid images and also outline. I'm only going to be using solid images. You can most definitely stamp additional black or brown outlines or even white emboss the outlines if you want. Or you can use just the outlines on their own and color your ice cream any way you like. There's also an image of a popsicle stick and you have a solid and an outline and there's a border stamp that features same ice cream images but in a smaller size. We will need coordinating dies for these as we will be doing loads of stamping and thus we will be die cutting a lot of those images out. I did some test stamping here and I've already stamped a few images using ombre inks from Hero Arts. I wanted to go with a bright and cheerful color combo for these cards so I picked lots of yellow, pink and some vibrant green and blue colors. You can find all of the supplies that I'm using today listed in the video description and also in the blog post associated with this video. I'm going to start by stamping my ice cream using Hero Arts pink to red ombre ink and I'm inking up my image so that I'm mostly picking up the color or the ink just from the two lighter parts of the ink pad. I want to have a little to no red ink here. I don't exactly know how many ice cream images I'm going to need for my cards, so I'm stamping a bunch just in case. And I often do this. I get excited about something and all I wanna do is just create and never leave my craft room. So this is why I'm stamping multiples here. But if I end up having extra images, I will just store them with my stamp set and will probably use them at some point later in the future. Next, I'm stamping more images using a different ombre ink pad. This is Ombre Spring Brights, and again, I want to have ink just from the two lighter ink parts of the ink pad for the most part. For my next image, I wanted to have a softer yellow and pink mix, but I didn't have an ombre ink pad with the colors that I wanted. So I just used individual ink pads and I inked up my stamp as if I were to use an ombre ink pad. So first I inked up the top part of the image with a light ink. This is dandelion. And next I inked up the bottom part of the stamp with a pink ink. This is soft pink. You do get a little bit of an ink transfer on your ink pads when you do this, but it will only affect a small area of the ink pad and the ink transfer is so insignificant that I personally do not mind. But if this is something that you do not want to happen to your ink pads, maybe avoid doing this and just use the regular ombre ink pads you have. For my last ice cream image, I used Ombre Neon Chartreuse to Blue, and I love these neon ink pads by Hero Arts. They're super bright and vibrant colors. I also stamped some additional images just in case, and finally I stamped a bunch of popsicle sticks using a light brown ink. I cut my images out using coordinating dies. There was a lot of die cutting to do, but I was making more than one card, so I didn't mind at all. Once I had my parts and pieces created, I started working on my projects. For my first card, I wanted to create a dimensional ice cream pattern. I used white foam adhesive squares from Scrabble Adhesives and foam mounted my ice cream images onto an A2 white side folding card base. If you worry that the card you're making is going to be two dimensional, you can either use thin foam squares, they will be twice less tall, or you can just stamp these images onto the card base directly and skip the whole die cutting process. I love to have dimension on my cards, so I don't mind cutting these elements out and popping them up. Also by having the individual die cuts, it is a little bit easier for me to build my pattern as I can just move the images around and reposition them if I need to. And you can't really do that if you go ahead and stamp it onto the background right away. Once my ice cream pattern was finished, I used glitter base from Tonic Studios, this is in color Moonshine, and I applied it mimicking sprinkles on my ice cream. I love to use this glimmer paste, it dries clear with a beautiful iridescent shimmer to it, so I knew it would look fantastic over this ice cream. I was using my palette knife here, and for a minute I kind of felt like I was decorating a cake, I don't know. Next I grabbed my Nuva Drops in very similar colors, I was using carnation pink, 
bubblegum blush and English mustard. And I just added a bunch of colorful dots onto the background to fill the space in. I felt like I had a bit too much white space there. So I used these drops to break it up and add more color and interest to my card. My yellow bottle had the nozzle clogged at first. So I used limoncello color from the jewel drops. So it will dry clear with a yellow tint to it. Later, I soaked up the nozzle of my yellow Nuvo drops in warm water and I got it unclogged, so I added gloss yellow drops onto this background as well. It did end up being very busy and colorful, but this is exactly the look that I was going for. I added your So Cool sentiment from the same So Cool stamp set, and I just stamped it in black ink onto a piece of white cardstock. I cut it out and it adhered onto the card. I didn't want to add anything else colorful here, and black seemed like the perfect option. For my card number two, I decided to create a semicircle made out of ice creams. I foam mounted the ice cream images onto an A2 top folding card base. This is going to be a landscape card. I reserved some space at the bottom there for a sentiment and I stamped one that reads, you are my favorite flavor. I also stamped the little popsicle sticks and I used Hero Arts soft brown ink for this. This is the exact same brown ink I was using before. I wanted to add some florals to this card because, you know, flowers make everything better. So I used images from the Bold Flowers stamp set by Simon and I stamped them using same colors of ink I used to stamp the ice cream as I wanted everything to match. If you're looking for other ideas to use these ice cream images, think about adding an ice cream to a critter or a group of critters. I think this would make a great card design. I used coordinating dies and cut all of my florals and leaves out. I foam mounted them onto my card, onto the ice creams, and once again, I used my Nuvo drops to add a pop of color to the background. I just love these delicious looking dots. I also added some glimmer paste to the ice cream images. I just couldn't resist doing that here, as I think that adds a nice touch. I also made one more card using the leftover die-cut ice creams that I had sitting on my desk. And here I just went with a super simple design. I added three ice cream images in different flavors or colors, Added some additional flowers and leaves, and of course, I embellished the card using same drops and glimmer paste. For my sentiment here, I added one that reads, You got this, from the You Got This stamp set, and this ended up being a fun encouragement card. I'm looking forward to using this stamp set more in the future. I'm yet to play with the outline images and color these using Copics or my Polychromos pencils, or maybe even watercolors. Who knows? I hope you guys will give this idea a try. If you do make a card inspired by this video, we'd love it if you could share your project online and tag us. We always enjoy seeing what you make. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet done so. Thanks so much for joining me today. I will see you next time. Bye!